If you want to create a header graphic for your website but you don't quite have the creativity to come up with ideas on your own, this tool here, Xheader, can help. And there's a free version and there's a paid version. The free version has fewer templates, but for most people I think you'll be quite happy with the number of templates you've got to choose from, so you won't need to, to go for the paid version. So we can do two things. We can create a header from, from, from scratch or we can use one of the pre-made from the library. And so let's just choose one from the library. Okay, and just double click on that and then we have our logo there and we can start adding stuff to it. So for example I can add some text and let's add some more text. Right, and then what we can do is we can go in and we can just change and modify it slightly. So for this one I'm going to increase the size and I'm going to put 95 for that. Let me just move this other one out of the way. And I'll put a little shadow on the background. And I want a sharp shadow. And I'm going to change the shadow color to change it to a light color. So it's you can see it from behind the strawberries. Okay. And let's change that one as well. Okay, and there's a very, very simple logo. It's not very pretty. I'm sure you can be more creative yourself, but there's a logo that you can then save. And when you go to save it, you can save it as a PNG or a JPEG. A JPEG is fine for most people's purposes. You can see different qualities here. The higher the quality, the more the, the file size, obviously. So you need to try and find one where the file size isn't too great. And I would, I would look at around 30 kilobytes. This one's 32, this one's 26. Um, there's not really an awful lot of difference between them, but I would go to the, to the one that's closest to 30 kilobytes, and then you can just double click on that, and it will ask you where you want to save it. And you can save it to your hard drive. So you can create a logo that way. Let's close that, and I'll show you the alternative. And that is creating a blank header. And in this one, you can define exactly what size you want it. And you can just carry out the process there as well. Let's increase the size. Well, let's just put in a catch line, tagline first. Um, and we'll change that one to Arial. And we'll change this one to Impact. And as you can see, you can just put text there, you can put lines, squares, circles, different shapes. You can also move things to the foreground. What you can do, you can, in, if you've got an image that you want to use on your um, logo, you can, also, you can also do that. So let's just put in, put this man's face in the corner there. And now the, the visual WordPress, the title is in the background. So what I want to do is just click on that to select it, bring it to the front, and, and we need a drop shadow to separate it from his face but perhaps we need to just reduce the size of that a little bit or we can reduce the size of the main text and bring it out this way okay and then you again you would just go and save it now once you've got a logo open, if you've got one that you've designed and you need to make it a different size, you can change the size up in the options by resizing the header. The problem is is that to uh, resize any of the ready-made templates, if we just go and load one quickly from here, we're not going to save that. If you try to resize a template that is pre-built, let's say we wanted to have that 1000 by 288 which is what the um, 2011 theme in WordPress uses. You'll see then that the images then get distorted and out of shape. So um, if you're going to do it in X header and you need a specific size, 
it's probably best to start from scratch, find the images and just put in the text and, the, and any shapes or anything else that you need into the logo. So it's fairly easy to use. Personally, I prefer using a graphics program and I use PaintShop Pro X4, um, which is really powerful and quite cheap as well. But if you're stuck and you need some ideas for logos, then it's well worth getting a copy of Xheader and have a look because it'll, it, at the very least it will give you ideas and the free version has plenty of templates to give you those ideas.